Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So guys, I am here to give you a Twin Flame Soulmate update. Woot. This reading uh, is for the collective. It's not going to resonate with all of you, okay? So just take what does resonate. Take what does resonate and leave what doesn't. Um, honestly, guys, today is the 1111 portal. It's a it's an important and very powerful time right now, okay? Um, I feel like the masculine's energy is all shaken up. Um, not knowing what to do. Feeling very nervous, very panicky, scared, right? They're, they're afraid to approach you. I feel like you're very intimidating right now. Standing in your power, Divine Feminines. Um, not putting up with any more crap, right? No more BS. I think you guys are, you've realized what you want in love. And um, what you've been getting from this person isn't it so far, you know? Yeah, and you're moving forward, you know? Um, so anyway, um, thank you to everyone for all of your support to the channel, your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, everything that you do that helps this channel keep growing. Um, bottom of the deck here, yeah, this person is all up in their head. I'm telling you, they're going through it, Divine Feminines. Um, you could be dealing with a Virgo here, overthinker anyway, right? 50 gazillion scenarios that they're trying to keep up with in their head. Um, they're all up in their mind about this, completely trapped in their head, trying to shine this, this light here trying to see where to step, how to step next, because they're on a very narrow path. A very narrow path here. And I feel like they're nervous about it. They're nervous about their footing. What steps are they going to take next towards you, you know? Um, yeah, watching you, having something to say, but holding back their communication right now. Um... I feel like they're watching you like a hawk. You know, this is my creepy McCreeperson card here. So they kind of stalk you. Okay. And they do have something to say, but this person's, they're holding back because they're trying to um, run through all of these scenarios. How do I talk to you? Yeah. It's all about this communication. How to communicate when, or, when and how. Okay. When and how. Um because this is get-togethers, celebrations. They don't know when are they going to see you again, right? When are they going to see you again? Um, I feel like you guys, if you meet, you should probably meet in a public place. We've got sabotage. They sabotage. They haven't seen you since they sabotaged you, I guess, or since this uh, connection has been sabotaged. Maybe they... Yeah, they're realizing just how bad this hurt you. I feel like they're just realizing how bad this hurt you. They haven't seen you. They haven't talked to you since since they backstabbed you and betrayed you. And um, they're realizing how much damage their actions really caused. This is somebody who I feel like, um, yeah... They're realizing how do how do how do I communicate when I sabotage this so bad? I hurt my divine feminine so freaking bad, and I I trashed this connection, right? Yeah, they don't know how to talk to you. They need to make a decision in love, too, but I feel like they want to talk to you face-to-face. -face. This is a soulmate connection, definitely, you know, twin flames. That goes without saying, right? They're very, very passionate, They're wanting this passionate new beginning. They need to, like I said, this person, this divine masculine, they need to make a decision. This is a decision when it comes to love, a choice. You know, we've got all kinds of soulmates, right? They could be in a home situation with another soulmate, a karmic soulmate, who
who is here to teach them something. You know, karmics, you're supposed to learn something from them and then let them be, you know. Take away the lesson learned and move along. But this person, I feel like they've been in a home situation with this other individual and they need to make a choice, but now they're getting ready to decide. I feel like divine feminines, you're like out there going, we don't, we've already decided. Yeah. I feel like you've already made the decision, but you know, yeah, to end this cycle. I feel like this is your decision. I feel like you're trumping it because your person took too long. Uh, this just makes you feel like an option, really. Having to decide who do they want, who do they want, who do they want. It gets to the point where it goes on for so long with their overthinking that honestly I feel like you're like, I'll make that decision for you. It's time to end this. It's time to end, close out the old cycle so a new one can begin. Because Divine Feminines, I feel like you're not getting anything from this person. You're not. Or you haven't been. You know, they're coming in with an offer though. This is beginning stage communication now. Keep that in mind. Um, this is like a, a first approach, right? This is a, hey... I haven't talked to you for a while. Is it okay if we if we um, talk, right? That's it. That's it. And then they wait for you to respond, I feel. Um, but yeah, they're, I feel like this person's coming towards you with an offer. Uh, um, not really so much. I want to say it's beginning stage communication. When... <sighs> When I say offer, I'm just meaning like they want to they want to stabilize this thing between you two. Call a truce, right? Let's call it a truce. Right? They want to work on this, man. They want to work on this with you. Divine feminine. This masculine does. Um I think I still feel like you've already made a judgment call. I feel like the universe is making a judgment call, but um yeah, death Wow, this person is really sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I see you making this judgment call to end this situation. You weren't getting anything out of it. I think it just... Um, really, I mean, you, you, put, you put so much emotion into this. Even when your person was nowhere near you, you put all you wrapped all of that emotion around this connection to keep it nice and safe and warm. And I, I feel like it's just it's to the point where you, you you really whatever you have left to give, it almost feels like you really have to guard it now because I'm hearing that last drop of blood um, from uh, Queen of the, it's a movie called Queen of the Dam, but it's a great movie. It's about um, a vampire queen. But they, they, they drain her at the end, you know? And I feel like you just, you're already feeling drained by this and it's time for you to start living again. That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting off of the table, you know? That it's time for you to start living again. I, I feel like you're just, you're, I feel like you're making the judgment call. This is over. Mm hmm because your person you know <sighs> they treated you like you could be replaced or you were something that you know they could they couldn't decide on you don't you don't keep another human being in that energy it's wrong to do that. And I think you put up with it for as, for as long as you could. You know? Um, I think it, it got you through this last cycle. I think a lot of it triggered you to, um, geez, do a lot of work. You did a lot of work, person watching. 
Divine Feminine. Uh, you healed on your own from the pain. You uh, worked on you. Uh, you raised yourself up from being dragged through the dirt in this. And you handled everything with grace. You handled it all so well. Stop whatever it is that you're doing, Divine Feminine. Just stop. And give yourself a freaking pat on the back, even if it makes you tear up. Because you did so much work. And you did it all by yourself with the guidance of the Divine. And it was hard. And it was sad. You've been through a lot. But look at where you're look at where you're going. You're about to enter into a whole new cycle with confidence, with power, with strength, with backbone. You know, I'm feeling a lot of emperor energy off of this card in you, right? And I, I think you're just you're you've learned your lessons from this last cycle. And that you're ready to move forward now. Now you're like um, a burst of energy, a burst of power. Like it is time for me to jump out there and go get what, what's in my destiny to have. That's right. And you're getting it. You're now in the Queen of Pentacles throne. Okay. The Queen of Pentacles is the most abundant queen in the deck. Your struggles financially are over. Because you worked on yourself. You worked on your abundance too. Whatever creative endeavor you, you uh, dove into, it not only helped heal you, it not only helped you become strong, but it helped you become the most financially stable queen in the deck. You don't need anyone in this energy. And you know what? You know it. You're ready. You are ready to leave this last cycle, release it, transmute that energy, and use it as a jumping board into this next brilliant cycle here. Okay? Yeah. All right, let's get some advice for you guys. Um, actually, no, I want to get what your person wants to say. And then we'll get some advice. Don't worry. What does this person want to say to Divine Feminine? I see this situation coming to an end. At least um, the kind of energy that we were in in the last cycle. Let's say that. Um, I'm a firm believer that twin flame connections can't really be severed. Okay? So, um... There's always going to be healing. You're going to feel your person. But for right now, this situation seems to be coming to an end. So that you can move forward, Divine Feminine, and get the kind of life that you deserve. All right? Yeah. And, you know, your person, they're still kind of trapped in their mind, you know, having to make a decision, still treating you like an option a bit. And uh, that means they have to learn some lessons. This is going to take your person some time, not just to learn, but to heal. Because believe me, I feel like wherever they were, they, they, they've been suffering some mental trauma here. Okay. So yeah, this is something that's going to take some time and your person hasn't started doing the work. And I feel like the divine feminines that, at, at least in my collective, right, um, who's been with me for a while. We've been on this journey together and we're ready. Um, we know that, you, you know, when you know what you're worth, you know what you're worth and you're worth too much. Your life is worth too much to just let time keep ticking by. All right, what does this person want to say? I'm resentful of you in the situation. I'm in, I'm so in love with you. Yeah, I feel like they met you and you shook up their world. They met you and you told the truth. They met you and you um, made no bones about how you were feeling. Yeah. 
they met you and and there was a there was a mutual connection there that was strong and powerful and um you did not deny it mm -hmm. you are every bit of strength oh hold on no thank you sorry about that you are every bit of strength they see every bit of strength in you that they know they haven't had your backbone is clear to see but meanwhile they're on the floor do you see what i'm saying so they're resentful that they're in love with you because you're so strong and because you're not going to put up with their BS. Yeah. And you wouldn't deny it. All right, so let's see what else. What else does this person want to say? I wish we could forgive and forget. They want to start over from the start right they want to clear the slate clean the slate just forgive and forget they don't this person needs to learn their lessons and you know forgiveness i i firmly believe in 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 forgiving yes yes because the forgiveness is what's releasing you you're forgiving this person in order to um, take that big leap and jump off right into your new cycle. You have to forgive in order to be able to do that. Um, but how, it's going to be hard to forget. You know, I feel like this person just, maybe they don't want to discuss it. You're not putting up with any BS. That's just it. This is how I know there's such a gap here. You're not putting up with any more BS. They can try to get away without giving you your clarity. There, you're not putting up with any BS. They can try to, you know, deny this all they want. You're not putting up with any more BS. That is your answer, as far as what I'm seeing here anyway, for the person I'm reading for here. Um, yeah. I feel like this person owes you an explanation. I feel like they owe you an apology for the hurt and the damage that this person caused. And I don't think forgiving and forgetting is going to be sufficient for the Divine Feminines. I think forgiving your masculine is something you need to do to move forward. Yes, by all means. But don't let this person just slide right back on in without taking some accountability for the way that they freaking treated you. All right. What else can you show me for the divine? Well, how, what does this person want to say to the divine feminine? Yeah, forgiveness is key to a lot of this, guys. I, I do believe you should forgive them, but that forgiveness is for you. That doesn't, forgiving somebody, and I repeat, forgiving someone doesn't mean that you just do it all over again. No. Forgiveness is a part of release, releasing the issue to God and letting them freaking handle it. But that doesn't mean that you're obligated to just do a redo. Okay, that is not what I mean. All right, forgiveness heals you, though, okay? So you can move forward away from this kind of energy. Um, all right, what else does this person want to say to Divine Feminine? I'm scared. They're scared. They're trapped in their mind about this. They know what they've got to do. They know that they need to... Um, take responsibility for the ways that they treated you in the past in order to communicate with you. I mean, they've really kind of blocked themselves out, really, when you think of it. And they're afraid to approach because you are standing in your power knowing, knowing full well you do not need anyone except for the divine. 
Other than that, you do not need anyone. And they have a lot, uh, a lot to take responsibility for. Yeah. All right, so let's get you. Holy crap. Hold on, guys. I got to fix that. Sorry about that, guys. Huh. This is an antique desk, okay? It's like hundreds of years old. And uh, this is one piece here, right? And then I've got all these little drawers on the side. I've got this one little drawer that's like a little square. It's like this big. And then this top opens up, and I have other little drawers and slots. And, um, yeah, it, but every once in a while this thing will pop off because that's just how it was made years and years ago. It's just a piece that comes on and off with these pegs. Oh, God, that scared the crap out of me, though, if that piece breaks. That's, that's a lot of damage. Okay, so anyway, everything is cool. Sorry about that, guys. Whoo! Yeah. You know, I, and honestly, if we're looking at this from some kind of message, uh, somebody's about to, like, blow their top here. Someone's about ready to blow their top. Uh, there, I feel like someone's going to be coming in and um, trying to communicate here. Yeah, as I say that, I want a second chance. Okay, so yeah, let's get you your advice. Oh, sorry, guys, that kind of like, it startled me. It has happened before, but it doesn't happen very often. I must have just hit it funny and flipped it up. And this desk is ancient. It's ancient. So it's like, <gasps> gave me a heart attack. All right. <sighs> Thank goodness it didn't break. Let me tell you what. <clears throat> <laughs> All right. So, Divine, what advice do you have for our feminines and masculines tonight for um, the Twin Flame Soulmate 1111 Portal? What advice do you have exchanging gifts? Um, you know, I want to say this is communication here from your person. Message in a bottle. I'm telling you, yeah, you may get communication from your person. I can see exchanging gifts as one of two ways, so I had to take a second to read the energy, guys. Sorry, I didn't talk about it, but yeah, I'm sitting here reading the energy because sometimes I can take it as you giving up your burdens to the divine and the divine um, uh, transmuting the energy and giving you back a gift, okay? But in this case I did feel that um, your person wants to communicate and then I got message in a bottle um, yeah a serendipitous moment I'm telling you okay so yeah your person's coming in I feel like they're gonna communicate I feel like they've been kind of hoping for a way to like um, a way to bump into you or a moment where you guys where they see you out or something okay and I feel like that's coming I feel like the divine is bringing you guys in fact a moment where it carries you to each other okay we've got new life here it looks like you're you may end up having a choice to make divine feminine because I think you've already resided in the fact that you um, want to end this energy, right? Not so much the connection, but the energy, all right, that it's in. Um, yeah, you have a new life. Uh, you're, I feel like you're about ready to start a new life. You may be wondering, uh, or somebody's watching you. Maybe you're looking, wondering if your person's meeting with you or not. I'm telling you, um, yeah, 1111, guys, Twin Flame Soulmate Connection number here. We've got almost at a completion. We've got a six. We've got a nine. We're almost there. We are almost there. I feel like um, somebody here is watching or on the lookout here. Um, the higher power seems to be bringing you guys together. I feel like you're both using your intuition 
listening to messages. I, Divine Feminine, I see you just wanting new. I see you wanting to break free from this old energy and get into the new, okay? And I feel like your person is watching this. Yeah, but the Divine is out here with this serendipitous moment. Give me one more card. I saw community on the bottom of the deck. I wonder, you guys are going to have a moment where you bump into each other. I, that's what I'm feeling. I got to go with it, guys. I got to go with it. I feel like you guys are going to have this serendipitous moment where you, you, you bump into each other in public, out in the community somewhere. Yeah, faded. Go the distance. You're almost there. You are almost there, and I feel like you're manifesting each other with imagine here. You may think that it would take a miracle. Yeah, well, it's time for miracles. What do you want, Mary? What do you want, Mary? You want the moon? I'll throw a lasso up there and pull it down for you. Right? It's a wonderful life. It's a wonderful life. I feel like you you may have a decision to make between new and this connection. I'm seeing this is your faded connection here. This thing is faded. This communication is faded. I feel like your masculine is coming in there and they may be coming in fast. It's going to be, um, the, you know what I feel like? I feel like it's... Um, they do it kind of at the drop of a hat. It's impulsive. It's an impulsive move towards you very quickly. And it's something that's faded. And I think at that point, you're going to realize you have a choice. What you don't see coming towards you in the new life or this person from your past. But you're both manifesting each other. And yeah, you may think that it's going to take a miracle. It's good. It would be a miracle, right, if this person showed up. Believe in miracles. You're both manifesting each other. And the 1111 portal is freaking strong, intense, powerful. So you want the moon, Mary? Huh? I'll throw a lasso up there and pull it down for you. Right? It's a wonderful life. All right, guys, listen, that's what I got for this Twin Flame Soulmate Connection. Um, yeah, um, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you, and I hope you guys have a very wonderful 11-11. Be thankful for, uh, for this whole entire journey, okay? Um, and uh, until next time, Divine Feminines, Divine Masculines, take care of you, and peace out.